Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Counter. We're playing more RimWorld. We are continuing with our colony, which, yeah, right now we're just kind of hiding. We're hiding. At, well, at least we're trying not to go west because we got a bunch of gazelles going over there, going a little bit crazy. But other than that, things are getting, uh, things are going pretty well. We got our last bedroom getting fixed here, or at least our royal bedroom, which, by the way, yeah, we can go ahead and build a boom right there. Get that knocked out. I'm trying to think if there's anything else major right now we're trying to take care of. I mean, we are going to go ahead and reposition this and actually we're done with all of this so we could go ahead and start opening some of this up if we wanted um like okay so we could go ahead and reinstall you we can go ahead and reinstall you and then i think the rest of these we can just cancel for now because we actually are just going to rip all that up correct pretty sure same thing with this this is all going to get deconstructed um i'll end up repositioning these guys you know we could um, yeah, we're out of wood. That's the big issue right now. Hmm. So if we weren't going to build them out of wood, what would we build the traps out of? We got an okay amount of steel. Not enough that I would want to build a bunch of traps out of. And then we're kind of just like stuck. So I suppose at this point, we're just going to do granite ones again. I suppose. I still don't mind these in our kill box area, so I think what I'm instead going to go ahead and do is we're just going to go ahead and order. Um, I mean, I guess we could chop some of these out. Just chop some trees. Because here's the problem. <laughs> this is our trees. This is where we're growing trees right now. That, that doesn't really help me right now. So yeah, I think I think let's just go ahead and uh, uh, we'll order uh, some chopping wood over here. And this will be okay. Yeah, just get all that chopped. This will be fine. And then I'm just going to go ahead and build copy. And we're just going to throw down a bunch of wood traps. Which aren't going to do that much damage in the scheme of things. But, you know, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Not really needing them to do a lot of damage. Because, like, our base is going to be pretty baller. Why can't I build it there? Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And then we want to deconstruct all of this as well. So let's go ahead and say structure before we get there. Uh, there shouldn't be any roof areas here, but let's make sure there's no roof areas here. So that's remove roof area, correct? Yes. And then I'm going to want you to go ahead and deconstruct all of this stuff. Does this not look like a roof? Like, it's darker here. That really kind of feels like a roof. Um, well, let's just start on the outside, and then we'll delete the inside stuff here. Well, you know what? If anything, I should start with the inside stuff, and then kind of go from there. Let's just not deconstruct everything. Let's leave just, like, a couple around, just in case. Um, just so, because we don't want anything collapsing. So, something along this line should be fine right now. And then something like this, just to get rid of that. Okay. Then I think we also want to go ahead and delete all of this, right? Because I don't need this anymore. If we're going to put turrets around here somewhere, yeah, this is all technically worthless now. All right. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and just, like, get rid of it. We could even do, like, another little line here, too. Um, yeah, I don't need any of this, so let's just delete it all. Okay. We might even get rid of this eventually because it's not that big of a deal. Like, because we might want to, I don't know, we might rather maybe have, like, marble barricade that we could, like, shoot from back here. I don't know. We'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. Let's go speed three. Uh, everyone's doing okay right now. What are we currently working on? Miko's working on armor. And we also have unfinished and an unfinished. All right. Yeah, sure. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, got so laggy with the freaking gazelles, man. Oh, so stupid. So stupid. You know what we could do? I don't want to because I kind of want to save them for when we get the guy coming down. But I mean, <laughs> we could. We could. I, I, do I have to go outside to call it is the question. Okay, you have to have line of sight. Then no, we're not going to do it. It would just be funny just to watch them all explode. So I kind of wanted to do that. Um, okay, you're going to get mined, and then we're going to move you. Uh, we probably want to get this moved, by the way, but, you know, that's fine. So laggy. So laggy. These guys, we're going to move up here as we start getting this stuff done with. 
Uh, you're moving that. Uh, Synthed, yeah, okay, all this stuff is deteriorating. How's it looking? We got yellow on you. But other than that, yeah, everything's pretty much gone right now or getting close to being gone, which is nice. And then we have food for days, which is great. Um, You know what? We could probably just get rid of this zone at this point. Because, like, it's not like this stuff is just going to, what, not grow? I mean, we're just not planning it. So I might as well just delete the zone. Because that stuff grows naturally anyways. I don't know if I don't know if this would grow naturally. So I'll keep that zone there for now. Trade in the Empire of the Moon is leaving. Okay, goodbye. I enjoyed you while you were here. Uh, is there a roof here? I mean, this doesn't look as dark as it did before. So I think we might be a little bit better spot. Yeah. Always a little worried about this. And then... Oh, oy. Well, we're going to get a lot of cloth back, which is interesting. Oh, you know what? This needs to be cloth there because we need to push them through. We don't want them to stop there. Uh, okay. And then this is all delete because we don't want them to have cover, please. It's got to be an easier way to do this for the record. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So this wall can get built here and then we can delete you. You can kind of see some roof here. Yeah. Okay. So then this one can get deconstructed. We got a lot of resources here to build some stuff now. How are we looking here on the vitals monitor? Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. What do we want after the vitals monitor? Do we want anything? Multi-barrel weapons is mini guns. We can't get any of these without, you know, the gun link. I was looking at the gun link and I think it like um, replaces your helmet. I'm not 100%, but I think it does. Actually, you know what? We could we could uh, Google that real quick. Gun Link Rim World. Because I don't want it if it replaces my helmet. Gun Link. Uh, the armor can be received. Equipped shooting accuracy is relatively unimportant as it does not impact the accuracy bonus. Oh, the quality doesn't uh, matter. Does it replace the helmet? It doesn't. No protection, no insulation. Should you use it? Analysts and comments. I suppose if you had a sniper, accessory that can be made, it increases upon shooting skill by three levels. Um, so conclude they can provide significant increase to your pawn's combat potential for poor shooters and snipers. The difference is substantial and cannot be understated. The loss of head protection is a very real risk. Yeah, so here's where I think it would be worth it is if you're rolling around with snipers. You just keep the snipers in the back so that they're not getting shot in the head. But I don't know that's what we're going to look for. Package survival mill is probably not a bad thing right now. We could also go for beer brewing, finally, or maybe cocoa. IEDs. I'm trying to remember, I don't know what the IEDs actually require. Is that just chem fuel? You know what? Sure, give me that. Because we might want to replace some of this with like some IEDs. Like, have some IEDs, you know, it, like, because I think they'll blow up the wall if we're not careful. So, like, maybe outside our kill box. Or, you know, like over here or something like that and just trigger. The problem is, I just don't want the IED to trigger and kill one guy. And we're like, oh, hey, cool. Thank you for killing one guy. Major break risk. Grendor. Oh, yeah, you're still addicted. Good job. Good job. So thankful for these people that came addicted. By the way, how long are they left for? Uh, They're leaving in 1.8 days. Oh, okay, cool. This is accepted 1.4 days ago. I, I don't think this goes away until they calm down. Honestly. I don't even know what we do. Like, what happens if they never calm down? <laughs> don't know do we abandon our base and then try coming back a little bit later and see if they leave i don't know we could like uh like open the door open the door and then just shoot from here but that just seems like that's gonna be a pain yeah like i don't really want to have to worry about that okay brian's doing some stuff here let's just double check here uh remove roof area should be no roofs here right Yeah, it's just deconstructing wall. So we should be safe then. Should be. Uh, and then there was no roof over here, right? 
That's not Brian. Yeah, there's nothing there about a roof. So I'm going to go ahead and de um, deconstruct that one too. So we should be mostly okay here. Deconstruct all of you guys. And I think we did the roof area. Uh, we didn't do it over here, but I don't think there's a roof there. It's just a single wall. There would be no roof there. Looks like there's a roof here. Pants deteriorated. That did always scares me a little bit, not going to lie. Just because it usually means, like, something happened. And as we are deconstructing the walls, clearly my first thought was, like, something collapsed. <laughs> so... I think the turrets are more than adequate now to be moved. Um, yeah, they can definitely get moved over here. Now, the problem is, if I put them on the wire... Well, okay, so I could put one up here on the wire. It doesn't matter if the wire explodes. Actually, it kills my power from over there. Yeah, we don't want the wires to explode if they get de um, destroyed. Yeah, I think they have a two range explosion. I don't really remember. I think I should be able to get another one though. Then I'm actually tempted to build a wall here. With, like, a door here. The reason is, so these turrets, I mean, they could still shoot here. But the idea is they wouldn't necessarily shoot right here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference. Just trying to think through it. Okay, let's just get all this deconstructed then. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. Obviously, we still have the pathway here. Oh, uh, we probably want to get rid of that pathway. It doesn't really matter. It's one tile. It's not that significant. Hmm. Are any of our animals restricted, by the way? Animals. No, they're on the right stuff. We just have this turned off. Yeah, so normally manhunters uh, uh, eventually kind of like calm down after a period of time. I don't know if this is because this is the quest, if that's going to happen. Now, theoretically, they should starve to death, actually, because they're... You have Scaria? What the heck? Inner Berserk Rages. Oh, okay. Should I not have... Theoretically, they shouldn't be eating anything right now. So at some point, they should... Okay, Emily, what are you doing? And Tamara. Come on, girls. Uh, at some point, they should theoretically just starve to death. Shoo. Theoretically. Theoretically. You're talking to Emily? Tending to Emily. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. I was like, why are you talking to Emily? Uh, are you really using Glitter World Medicine right now? Uh, hey, I'm going to go ahead and um turn that off because especially for like bruises and stuff like that, that doesn't seem worth it. We don't have a lot of medicine left at all. Dang, man. Yeah, we could really use some medicine. I don't think you can call for traitors. I'm trying to remember. Quest to trade caravan. It costs 15 goodwill. I don't know if I really want to... I don't think I want to spin my goodwill, though. That's where I'm at right now. Getting a bunch more smoke leaf. That's going to be fine. We still have herbal medicine. Black pants deteriorated. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and restrict this now for as, uh, as well. We're just going to save it for, like, a medical emergency. You know, we get shot or something like that, I think is going to just be a safer plan right now. Okay, so our walls are gone, and no one died. So, yay! <laughs> Happy days. Uh, this can all get deconstructed, because, you know, it's not running anywhere right now. Now, what are we going to do over here? Don't know yet. Don't know yet. Hadn't quite gotten that far in my brain yet. Hey, Wombat, we're actually recruiting. Good, 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 good. Um, these are going to have to get put over here eventually. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Although I do kind of like the idea of maybe putting a couple LEDs in here as well. Although I, I worry about our people triggering an LED or an IED. LED. 
the, the, mm, mm, I, mm, I mean, they are important. They make your computer run faster, but yeah, probably, probably not what we're looking for right now. Uh, deteriorated. This is fine. Uh, yes, I was going to say we probably have. Also, it's been raining for like a week now, I feel like. It's kind of annoying. You guys gonna starve anytime soon, please? I mean, they're not showing health or anything. Or food. Because normally, yeah, we see the needs normally. We don't see their needs. Which, obviously, but I feel like they should be getting malnutrition here before too long. Would be my assumption. We could open the door and just drop a bomb with Brian, but... Once again, that just feels really kind of dangerous. Were these wood? Oh yeah, we did, because we're going to go cut all the wood. Yes. Although, with all this granite here, why? Yeah, there, there seems to be no reason. Part of it's because like granite traps get annoying after a while because we keep running out of granite, but why not? Let's do it. Give me the granite traps, please. Okay, I'll let you guys do that then. Uh, and boomer buddies, you can stay out of my area, please. Thank you. All right, this stuff is almost good. 88% grown. So the thing is, we're going to want to build the uranium slug cannons over here. Which means we should get rid of this wall so you can shoot this way too. Yeah. Yeah. Because they can cover both doors. And we, we kind of want them... I think it's the same case where we probably are going to wall up part of this just so they won't shoot this direction. So it's 300 steel, 30... We have more than enough stuff, I think, for this. 60 uranium, we had a bunch of uranium. Yeah, we have 1,000. 300 steel is the biggest issue right now. Because we're a little short on steel. Everything else is fine. I think I should go three. I think that's the plan right here. Uh, no, you know what? Eh, yeah, just leave those. Just leave those. I mean, if they break through here, it's going to be kind of annoying. But then again, they'll have to run around this way. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, and let's make sure there's no roof over here again. Uh, Clear roof area zone. Remove roof area. I don't think there's a roof over here, but just in case. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Actually, we don't want that one. Build a roof area. Yeah, you can stay roof there. Okay. So then we'll get those built. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of these just because I don't like them shooting me in the butt constantly. So, you know, that kind of thing. And then we got a bunch of granite traps incoming, which should be fine. This cloth needs to get moved because it's just nonstop raining. But, yeah, I'm not super concerned about it because we still got billions of cloths. So, like, if it, you know, when's this rain going to stop, though? Like, seriously, it's fall. It's not spring. Major break risk. Uh, grand door. Oh, thank God. Trade ship passing by. Empire of the Moon. Okay, good, good, good. We need this. Uh, Brian, come here. What are we looking for, by the way? It's a good question. What were we looking for trading? Weaponry? Armor? Yes. Oh, medicine. Nutramine. And there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Brian's a little unhappy. So they do have Glitter World Medicine we could buy. They have a lot of Glitter World Medicine. They have Cataphract Armor Tech Print. We already had one. Actually, I think we already had one. Hold up. Do we just need one for it? Uh, that's under research. Cataphract Armor. We need two. Ah, I don't know it's worth it then. I, like, at this point, I don't know it's worth it. Like, Phoenix Armor. Shoulder mounted flame bolt launcher. This armor is slightly less protective than standard cataphract armor against normal damage, but especially flame resistant. Flame bolt launcher has limited ammo and must be reloaded. Phoenix is uh, specialized in clearing out very confined spaces full of enemies, as in underground or shipborne operations. It can absorb hits while moving down a corridor, filling with flame emerging from the smoke unscathed. 
I mean, you know exactly what I want this for. What's the locust? This is recon. Burst rockets for short range flight. It's 4,200. Uh, it's still 115% against sharp, so it's still extraordinarily good. Yo. Yo. I like it. I think I like it. What do we have, right? Oh, we're kind of like... We have 6,400 right now. We don't have a lot we can trade. <laughs> That's the downside. I could send him a Resurrector mech serum, but eh. I don't know why I have a bionic leg. I was going to give it to someone. I got to figure out who it was. Armor skin, we don't need any more. I mean, I kind of have to, don't I? I have to. That's what we've been saving for. And then, yeah, give me all your glitter world. Ugh. We need steel. Okay. Okay. So, Hermione. Give it to Tolberto, because he's already got the fire. Yeah, he's already got the plasma core, so let's just go straight up crazy him. Uh, what? Did you? Did, did you? Seriously? Just walk through the fire and get yourself burned? Really? 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 <sighs> He's like, nah, I'm just gonna, you know, walk through it. It's fine. Uh, you're moving the medicine. That's good. Oh my god, he looks baller. So then... Launch incendiary. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. 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 Dude. So, bring it on, bugs. <laughs> bring it on. I am ready for you. I will destroy your life, man. I will destroy you. We're actually almost out of food again. Dang it. Come on, corn. I need you to finish here. Still got stuff popping out there fairly quickly. Hey, I mean, I don't know. Is it growing during the rain? Yeah, it's not growing right now. Because this rain won't stop. Like, what is going on with this rain? It's just been nonstop for absolutely no reason. It's kind of annoying. I mean, I say no reason, but, you know, what is the reason? Like, it's not like there's any weather effects or something like that happening. All right, are these guys... Actually, I think some of them are leaving. Yeah, there's less here, so I think they're leaving. Okay, good, 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 good. So we're slowly accomplishing that one. Um, I could really use the rain, though, to go away. Really could use it. None of them have offered to join me, which is... I find weird, dude. His armor is so awesome looking. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> Would not want to mess with a squad of dudes that looks like that. Just throwing that one out there. I wonder if you can build those alternate armors, or if those are exclusively only for... Um, by the way, what is it inside? It's 68 indoors. Uh, it's gotten cold, game. By game, I mean Brian. By Brian, I mean Brian. Uh, we flicked them the wrong way. Yes, turn them on, please. Brian, flick a couple of these on, please, on your way home. Because you're going to bed, right? Yeah, you're going to bed. Flick them on. We don't need a lot. Just a few. Just hit the ones on your way. You don't have any in your bedroom. That's going to basically... I mean, 70 degrees. I should turn off the air. I don't know. I think we have enough surplus power. It's not really that big of a deal. I can leave them both on. Because theoretically, it shouldn't run if it's like... Um, uh, they shouldn't run if it's like too uh, cold inside theoretically so we hadn't built those yet traps are almost done I don't want to get rid of these until those are done question is where are we going to put these other turrets remember the other thing is we should there's no reason to do a marble barricade. Nah, I got cloth for days. 
So we should go ahead and do power. Um, where is it? Sandbags. Because that is going to technically slow them down. Because, like, it's going to take them a minute to actually, like, cross the sandbags. So we should have them in front. Something I probably should have done a little while ago, but that's okay. And I would like to get my roof back in on this. Yeah, I would like all this to be under uh, under roof. There is a chance, though, somehow they would shoot and maybe collapse the roof on top of my people. I think. I don't really know how that works. Refugees are leaving. All right. Well, thank you. Possible future reward. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, so is that going to screw us up a little bit? I don't think so. They were helping, I think, with the art and stuff like that. So that's the one thing that we might find ourselves a little slower with right now. But yeah. So how's our mining going? We have not been mining. Yo, go give me some steel here, please. And let's do something like this. Get some more mining going. They are harvesting. Store kit trap. God freaking bless it. How hard is it to not get freaking mad, murdered by your own traps, people? Yo, come rest here before you die. IEDs are done. Sweet. Uh, what were we going to do after IEDs? We talked about a couple. Package survival meals, probably. Colored lights, eh. Go juice, eh. Cocoa, carpet making. I'm going to do beer brewing just real quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn one on here just so you can get the best treatment if you ever make it without dying. Come on, buddy. He also has the mechanites, too. Hey! They left. Okay, and we got our allies. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Brian, uh, Odette's going to do it. Okay, so quest complete. Unknown Vagabonds won, apparently. Cool. Uh, possible future rewards. We'll see about that. We got advanced components eight. Nice. And then we're now allied with them. Good. Good, 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 good. Which we want. And so I'm glad we didn't end up wasting anything for a trader. I don't know it would have, you know, even given us what we wanted. So he had his fourth toe cut off. Great. Good job. Good job. Party. Brian's throwing a party. Let's do it. All right, everybody. Come, like, we got, like, games, we got, you know, uh, 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 a chest, we got billiards, we got a lot of stuff going on here. You know, we never actually upgraded our chest table here. We should make it out of marble eventually, but, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Did we ever get more artwork done? Don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Okay. How goes construction? Still got a ways to go here. Yeah, they're working on traps right now, because that seems to be, like, the most important thing, for whatever reason. All right, pretty much everyone but Stork's going to get a nice little mood boost. Who had the uh, leg, by the way? Needs uh, health. She has a prosthetic leg already. You're fine. You're missing an eye. You have a bite. You have a wooden foot. So Miko, it might have been for Miko. You don't have a shoulder or a lung. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have a wooden hand. Interesting. Lots of eyes just gone, man. Dude, we have a lot of, like, really just kind of randomly hurt people. It's kind of hilarious. Cut scar. Bad back. Okay, so it looks like then Miko, and you have a left leg, so I need an operation on you. We're going to go ahead and give you a euthanize, uh, euthanize a bionic left leg is going to be the plan here. And we're going to go ahead and unrestrict the Glitter World medicine just to make sure it happens. Um, or that you get the best treatment possible. Okay, good, 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 good. Wombat, nice, beautiful. Okay, buddy, 
Let's see. You're in a lot of pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to see what you do, though. So he's okay medical. Actually, he wants to be a great doctor. He's good with plants. He's good with mining. And he's okay with shooting. Yeah, all this is great. So Wombat, my friend. Welcome to the party. We want you to grow mine. I think that's the plan. And what kind of guns do we have for you? Oh, we actually have another charge rifle here. I'll give him the charge rifle. That's fine. Come grab the charge rifle. Work frenzy Parker. Hey, Brian. Pretty sure Brian's still our best doctor. He's at 14, 12, 9, 8. Go ahead and operate on Miko, please. And I'm going to need you to do that. So then Wombat is... he Like, okay, so where we're at right now is we need some more flak jackets and armor and stuff like that, but... We'll get there. We'll get there. I mean, we're working on it right now. We're working on it. Is that our only charge rifle, by the way? I can see. There's still quite a few um, shotguns. And by quite a few, there's still one. We got a couple of heavy SMGs, though, which... Yeah, the problem is our shotguns or SMGs aren't going to reach this distance. That's, like, our slight issue. So, theoretically, what we should do is we should have alternate weapons here. But I still like having the shotguns. Are you dead or are you sleeping? Was he ours? <sighs> so he triggered all the traps. <laughs> God dang it. Like, just leave my traps alone, man. Uh, hippopotamus, can you go haul him? Hauling the dead mega sloth. At least get some food out of this. I mean, we're kind of out of... Oh, you know what? They all left, so that means we can uh, switch our people back to unrestricted, which means we can go back to um, hunting. So wildlife. We would like to kill probably the wild boars. Kill all of these first. And then, yeah, we'll also kill the wild boars and the turkey. And the tortoise. And the tortoise isn't really worth much food. But, yeah, we would like to get some meat going. Just because we don't have a lot. Also, yeah. Ah, shoot. We are out of kibble. We're out of kibble because we don't have any meat. So we can't make it without the meat. Blah. We could slaughter some animals, but... Yeah, no, yeah. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Minor break risk. Wombat. Do you not have your own bedroom? Yeah. Oh, he's mad because horse turned him down twice. He's also soaking wet. Dude, what is with this freaking rain, man? Can we talk about this? Okay, so Miko got her leg. Bionic. Looks like everything went well. Good job, Brian. Good job, Brian. Awesome as always. Awesome as always. Alright, let's wrap this episode up here. Royal Tribute Collector. Beautiful. So yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and sell off horse. I think so. Because uh, we could use some... I mean, I don't really need the opinion. But horse is just like, or the whatever it is. Horse is just like, we still have 56 resistance remaining. Which in my opinion is not really worth it. You're good at shooting, but kind of bad at everything else. Yeah, we're just going to, we're going to get rid of you. But that'll be next episode for now. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. See you guys later. Bye, everyone.